What's up, everyone, and welcome to Philly in the Philippines. If you're checking the channel out for the first time, please consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for stopping back. Guys, we have arrived. We are doing our island hopping adventure today. Took us, I don't know, maybe a half hour or so to putt across the, uh, the ocean here to get over to the islands. It was nice because it was a small boat. I'll show you the boat then. It was just Lut I and the boat driver. So that was nice, you know. We didn't have to get on a boat with like 50 people and deal with all that. Um, but yeah, we are here. Let me uh, let me show you here. Here's where we're at. Wow, it's just amazing here. It's beautiful. I apologize if there's any wind, but we are in the ocean. So, anyways, we are starting our first leg of our adventure. And uh, I think today's going to be a good day. All right, guys. So this is the first little island we're on. I uh, just, I don't know. I guess it's just a walkway. So I just walked around and it's all about the views here. I mean, this is just an amazing view from up here. Over there, the, what's that? Pilgrimage Island, Jesus the Savior. I'm sure we're going to be heading over that way. It almost looks like this is new construction. I couldn't tell you. I've never been here. But just looking, it just kind of looks like it's new construction. We're going to walk down. We're going to walk over a little floating dock over there. And we're going to make our way over there. You guys, I'm going to call this the drunk bridge. Because as you're walking on it, the waves are bouncing underneath it. It makes you feel like you're drunk. Welcome to the Drunk Bridge. Look at the girls. See the girls coming? They're like fighting and wobbling all over the place. Let's up there too, and she's wobbling. Welcome to the Drunk Bridge. All right, guys. So, the Drunk Bridge, as I've named it, connects that island we just came off of to this island we're on right now. So, I don't know. You go to the left, go to the right, wherever you want to go. Follow the path. Like I said, this looks well maintained, and uh, I guess I'm going the other way since that's where Lutz going. All right, so one of the good things about island hopping here, you got these little sorry, sorry stores. So guys, you're going to drink a lot of water. You know what? The walking is not that bad. I'm sure there's some areas that are going to be pretty tough to climb, but so far. Walking is fine. I mean, the steps, the paths are very well maintained. I'm going to show you where I'm at right now. There's a little beach area here for swimming. The guy's got some crabs in his net if you want some crabs. But I'm, uh, I'm going to show you here real quick. I'm going to come over here. Like I said, a little beach area here for swimming. Guys, there, there's his crabs. There's a scale. Here's a little beach area. Once again, apologize for the wind. All right, guys. So Lut has taken on the challenge. She is going up to a statue up this hill here. She has taken on the challenge. I have backed out of the challenge only guys only for the simple reason the steps like this I have a blown out knee blown out ankle and uh, I don't want to take a chance of getting sore and being in pain for the rest of the day and the rest of the trip I know myself I know my body so this is this is just one of those uh, challenges that I have backed out of beyond that everything else around here is very smooth very flat steps are easy to go up and down um, so yeah hop over to her channel Lutz diary adventures in the Philippines if you want to see the hike up to the statue and what's all up there go over to her channel Lutz diary adventures in the Philippines I know most of you guys or a lot of you guys already subscribed to her channel uh, so one way up one way down, I'm seeing young people come down. A lot of young people coming down. 
not too many old people coming down. <laughs> All right, guys, we have arrived on another island here. This is called Guinko Cave. Here's where we come. It's pretty neat in here. I would imagine there's bats in here, right? Oh, well, that was a bug. I would imagine hiding up in those crevices and stuff. This is like a stop, five minutes, ten minutes, <laughs> walk out, you're done. I just want to walk here to the end. So I can say I've been in the cave. In one end, out the other end. All right, guys. So, yeah, this is a uh, Quezon Island, but I'm going to call it the Food Island because this is where all the boats come. People get off, and uh, there's there's places like this area right here. Uh, there's places you can bring your picnic. You can hang out underneath, eat. Upstairs on the second floor is a little cantina. Over here is another area where people are sitting and eating. You can bring your own food, throw it on the boat. Uh, when you have a big a big group, as you see, uh, that's the best way to go. But this is the area where all the boats come in and drop everybody off. Look at the beach. It's really, really white. Beautiful beach. No, it's not rocky. It's not pebbly. They got this area right over here for everybody to swim. And as you can see, people are out swimming. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can rent snorkels, uh, you know, the mask and the snorkel. You can rent them. You got to rent them before you enter onto the islands. Uh, yeah. You uh, get those where you pay. All right, guys, we are on our way. We're heading up to the zip line up here. This is the first time I've ever done a zip line in my life. Uh, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. I'm not afraid of it or anything like that, but I'm excited for it. Here it is. We're gonna zip line from that little island over there. I guess I'll see you when I see you up on the zip line, all right? Let's have a seat. All right. Lay down. It's gonna hold. All right, all right, all right. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, buddy! I <laughs> love it! Love it! Hold on, baby! Hold on, we're coming in hard! We're coming in hard! Alright, guys, that is our little island hopper right there. He's pulling out. They're not allowed to stay beached here, so once, uh, yeah. once they drop us off, they, uh, they got to pull out. Look, obviously left something. Ah, oh, she's got to get money. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, here we are. Marcos Island. No smoking, no eating and drinking on the sand. You can see all the boats are pulling off. They just drop people off. Uh, little beach here to swim. What's that? Oh, entering three is free. All right. So we're gonna go up here. There's a place up here where evidently you can jump into the water. So that's that's where we're heading. All right, guys, so I just seen this side. No life vest, no jump. That is why Lut and I are wearing our little life vest from the, uh, from the boat. No life vest, no jump. And I really wanna do this. There's just another view. Isn't that beautiful? Water's crystal clear, people out there swimming. Just a little path that leads up to where you're gonna jump into the water. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad, right, Lut? No. Nah, not this too bad. Not too bad than actually I did earlier. Concrete steps leading you up. Woo! Oh, over this way. We shall get there. And I would 
I would guess to the left here. I would guess down this path here. I'll tell you what, amazing, beautiful breeze. Oh, there it is. This must be it, huh? There's the hole, guys. It's not that far of a jump. <laughs> Obviously, no lifeguards here. Jump at your own risk. I how well you can see that, guys, but the roof here is loaded. There's a full of bats up there, aren't they, Lut? Yeah. This roof is loaded full of bats, man. That's cool. You can see a few of them flying around. That's cool. All right, guys, I gotta hold my hat and hold my glasses so I don't lose them. All right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> how was it, Lut? Lut, how was it? Good? You sure? <laughs> Scary. This is where you come out through the cave right here. And you work your way out of the cave. Oh, oh yeah. Water is very refreshing. What's beating me? What is beating me? One more, one more time. Check it out. You can hear the bats squeaking too. Stand up here, I'll black blast my head on the on the stone. Whew. Whew. I guess that's it here, huh? That's kind of all you do here. Yeah. Come here, jump off the cliff, or jump off the yeah, off the cliff into the cave. Oh, that was fun. You didn't like it? What? Did you like it? Jumping? Yeah. I had I know I had to hold my hat, and my 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 glasses because. I knew I'd lose them, so I had to get all that together. I thought that. Mind about the jumping than actually the Yeah. Yeah, because it's different. Yeah. That's it, guys. That's it, guys. This is our last island, and uh, we'll see you on the solid ground. All right, we are on dry land. We're up here having dinner at a. I don't know, some Maxine. Maxine's Maxine's restaurant here. We had seen it and we're like, hey, yeah, let's stop and have dinner. Uh, we actually went back to the hotel, showered, started the video to upload it. Uh, but I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what today's adventure was. Um, it was 1,800 pesos mm. for both Lut and I. You get 300 pesos back, correct Lut? 200. 200 pesos back when you turn your recycling bag back in or your trash bag back in you have to pay for a trash bag that's part of your cost uh, it's a little bag just wraps up um, you can pay extra for life vests but you don't need them because the boat the boats do have them but certain places like if you're gonna jump in the cave there got a life vest they say they don't let you take them off the boat um, our boat captain was cool. He was fine with it. Um, but yes, you can pay extra for that. You can pay extra for a snorkel and mask. It's all extra. So the two of us, with the captain and just us on the boat, all day long, him taking us out, waiting for us, from island to island. We covered six islands. The first island, there were three islands. You walk from the one island to the other island. You could walk to them. 
I'd had the uh, floating dock that you walked, and then once you got to the other island, it was two separate islands, but you could get to both of them. Uh, we went to a cave, 10 minutes spent there at the most, uh, then went over to Quezon Island, Quezon yeah. Island, and I call that the food island. Uh, here's the thing, guys, a little heads up. If you come, you can pack a lunchbox, lunchbox, listen, it's like I'm back in school, a cooler full of water, cooler full of food. If you want to bring a propane tank along to cook out on the beach, you can bring that. If you want to charcoal and you want to grill out on the beach, you can bring all that. Uh, that's up to you if you want to haul it around. I do, however, suggest bring plenty of water. If you don't bring plenty of water, they do have places on the islands that do sell water because hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Uh, if you don't bring a lunchbox, uh, your Scooby-Doo lunchbox, or your Batman or George Jetson lunchbox, or your Pebbles and Fred Flintstone lunchbox, Casper lunchbox, you guys are my age, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you don't bring that, they have food. You can purchase food. Uh, it's not a big spread. You're not going to get, you know, a, a grilled meal or anything like that. It's Filipino style. Uh, a little bit of fish, some chicken. Uh, got a big boat here. Uh, but yeah, you can eat. And they have snacks. You can find snacks on the islands. They do have it. But guys, water, water, water. Uh, they do bring people in at 5 o'clock. They start bringing everybody back from the islands. They don't let them out there at night. Unless you're spending the night out there. You can spend the night out there. I didn't look into it. But there is an option to where you can actually camp on one of the islands, right? But oh, yeah, you can camp on one of the islands. Don't ask me what it all involves. Uh, maybe look it up online. Um, but that's it. I mean, we had a great time. Uh, the thing is with your captain, like I said, he's out there with you all day. If you do bring food, hook your captain up. Give him something to eat. If you say go to a little sorry sorry store or the little tiny little restaurant they have. Um, hook him up with some food. I mean, the guy's out there all day. Uh, he doesn't leave. He waits in his boat. He don't come with you. He drops you off. He goes and parks his boat and waits for you to call him. So hook him up. Give him a nice tip. Uh, that's really about it. Uh, it was a great time. Had a good time. Uh, tomorrow we got another adventure. I just seen it. I just seen it. And I'm going to jump on this. And... Uh, We'll share that with you. So all in all, guys, 100 Islands, good time, great trip. Um, could you spend a couple days here? I guess you could. Um, it's up to you. It's up to you. So there it is, guys. And uh, once again, if, if you haven't subscribed, take the time to subscribe. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. And if you're one of those that doesn't subscribe, watches all the time, please subscribe. And... Uh, Tomorrow is a new journey, and uh, we'll see you then.